Hey guys, Ivan here and this is your top 2 definitely at the Arnold Classic 2022 It's not gonna be Justin Rodriguez or Steve Cook or whoever jumping into that top 2 No, it's William Bonek and Brandon Curry And I think it's pretty safe to say that Bonek actually won this show Honestly, I did not expect this outcome I thought the age took a toll on his body, I thought he was done but no, not just yet, uh, not only that he came back and he brought his old physique, but he's gonna win third Arnold Classic tonight, I'm pretty sure about it. I was watching the live stream and the commentators Fuad Abiyar and Dennis James both agreed, they both have William winning this show and I think it is pretty safe to say that it's in the bag. So William, he brought better conditioning than Curry and more legs and he was better at the finals, he was so much better, he was sharper, much much sharper, fuller, everything, he looked bigger, he looked really really hard, I, I think he absolutely nailed it, his conditioning and fullness. I'm not saying that Brandon came off, he was on as well, he was, he was good, he was full and he was conditioned, but... William just edged him out, he was more conditioned, he was fuller, harder, rounder, everything pretty much, I mean the only pose that, that, that Bonek lost in this in this comparison right here in my opinion was absent eyes, everything else he beat Brandon Curry, uh, front double bicep that's a pose that Brandon usually wins because he has an amazing wee taper, crazy arms, but in this in this comparison here again because of that sharpness the hardness the conditioning and because of the legs william really brought those legs back they were full they were separated and uh, brandon even though his legs may have came up a little they still weren't a match to williams front lat is supposed to be brandon's pose but again william with the sharpness with the details with the fullness and the hardness he beats him in that one look at the transition when he turns to side chest everything gets so alive you can see the fibers everywhere the hardness is insane on william here in the side chest he absolutely nailed it this should be a good pose for brandon because he can hide his quads that look pretty weak from the front but not as bad from the side still i have william winning this pose because mainly because of his crazy conditioning but overall just he peaked so well now let's take a look at their back so back itself brandon maybe has a little bit more uh, width to the shoulders but take a look at that lower back area where the back ends and the glutes start that area could be drier bonek was dry head to toe he was super sharp and yeah, maybe he's not the widest guy, so maybe Brandon has bigger, wider back, but lower body, look at the legs, huge difference, huge, huge, huge difference, and I think the main reason why William is gonna win this show. Before we move on to the next call out, I just wanted to suggest you guys this product from the old school labs, you have my link down below in the description and my code even, it is a protein powder, vintage brawn, it has a great amino acid structure, it is not only whey protein, it is also beef protein isolate and egg white protein. So guys, if you want a great tasting protein and you want to support me and my channel, go down to the description of this video, click on the link and get yourself some great tasting protein. Now, as far as the third, fourth and fifth, it is gonna be these three guys, Samson Dauda in the middle, yes, Steve Cook on the right and Justin Rodriguez on the left. Now, who do I have in third? Me personally, if I was a judge based on the live stream, I think I would give it to Samson. The commentators of this show, Fuad Abiyar and Dennis James, they really weren't sure, but they both had Steve Kuklo and Justin ahead of Samson. Me personally, I didn't feel that way, but again, who knows? I mean, uh, the live stream and, and what you see live, it's a completely different story, but personally, I just I just like Samson's physique. Uh, what do I think about Justin's physique? Uh, I mean, he has a great back, and that's about it. I would probably give him like 7th place, if I was a judge. But judging is not as subjective as you may think, there are certain rules and his muscularity is probably playing a big role uh, in where he's gonna place. I think he didn't bring that good of a conditioning at the finals as he did uh, before yesterday. So yesterday I think he was sharper, now he came a little bit uh, smooth. Uh, Steve Cook, I think he sharpened up and I think Samson just came a little bit better. So I, I would definitely have Samson ahead of Justin. I would have Samson in fourth or third and steve somewhere there and justin probably in sixth in fifth sorry 
only because the judges definitely put Brad Wilkin out of that top five and uh, I think he deserved to be out of top five because he came in the finals he came much much smoother through the legs he did something crazy to his shoulders and chest that area was super veiny super vascular and separated really full uh, blasting full but legs came so so smooth there was basically no detail and you, you guys know that his legs are his weakness so when they weren't super shredded they seemed even smaller and his upper body was so full and crazy that it was a big imbalance and I think that hurt him and he dropped down to uh, probably sixth place but you know he's battling against Regan so maybe maybe even Regan can pull ahead of him uh, cracking the crack that top six instead of Brett we'll see what's gonna happen this is gonna do it for this uh, final comparison as soon as we get the results I will post them here so guys subscribe thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye